This episode is supported by Prudential. How do we weigh our own best interests against the best interests of others? This question can be extended beyond me versus you and into the us and them. How do I weigh my family self-interest against the needs of a family I've never met? What about the citizens of my country versus citizens of another? At a number of levels, we build in-groups and out-groups. There are people with whom we most closely relate, fit and belong, and there are people outside of that. Social psychologist Henry Teifel proposed that the groups you belong to, whether it's your religion, your family or a football team, give you a sense of social identity, a sense of belonging in a social world. Teifel calls this social identity theory, a theory he developed after surviving as a prisoner of war in Nazi-occupied Poland. Teifel immigrated to Britain, where he later ran the classic minimal group experiments. Participants were divided into groups completely randomly and asked to allocate a reward. They immediately showed favoritism towards those in their own group and maximized their own group's outcome. A trivial division between people was enough to trigger discriminatory behaviour. These discriminatory attitudes can serve several purposes. For example, believing you're part of a good group builds self-esteem. It's not a bad thing to be proud of your family or friends. But the flip side of this is creation of bad groups and stereotypes about others, negative ideas about an outgroup as a whole. When it comes to social identity theory, these stereotypes may vary in severity and negativity depending on both the in-group and out-group study. But research has repeatedly shown that cultures and societies all over the world consistently carry strong negative stereotypes about one group in particular, immigrants. Immigrants are people leaving an outgroup and attempting to join your in-group for any number of reasons – safety, security, or just new opportunities. Research in intercultural relations has shown while well, the stereotypes people hold for immigrants may vary by their nation of origin, level of education, religion, or socioeconomic class, the connotation tends to remain negative or ambivalent at best. And this is problematic. When immigrants attempt to join an in-group holding negative stereotypes against them, their ability to integrate and contribute becomes more difficult, and everybody loses. Luckily, scientists have also studied how to reduce this empathy gap. In one experiment, participants in an fMRI were first shown images of members of their in-group receiving a painful shock, and members of an out-group receiving the same shock. As expected, the participants reported feeling more empathy for the in-group individual, and that was supported by their brain activity. Then, participants were shocked themselves. However, in this case, a member of the participant's in-group or out-group could give money to save the participant from the shock. The participants were told whether or not they'd been spared and who had paid to spare them. Seeing a member of their outgroup help them built empathy for that outgroup. And this was supported by brain activity when they saw members of their in-group and outgroup shocked again after the training. This suggests that doing nice things for members of your outgroup helps pull all groups together. Beyond that, giving people outside of your group the opportunity to help you will build your own levels of empathy. No shocks necessary. Supporting our fellow humans, especially in times of struggle or change, can help us realise that beyond our family, friends and community, there's a larger in-group that encompasses everyone, citizens of the planet Earth. And we're all in this together. Thanks to Prudential for sponsoring this episode. We all want our future to be as secure as our present, but we have a tendency to place a greater value on immediate rewards rather than future rewards. And that goes when we think about our finances too. A Prudential study found that more than half of Americans are not on track to maintain their current standard of living in retirement. Go to prudential.com forward slash save more to find out how you can better plan for your retirement.